smallest puppy visit our studio. Look at this little guy. This is actually a little girl. It's Beyonce. This morning, we'd like you to meet the world's tallest dog. His name is Giant George. Take a look at the two of them side by side. Yesterday, I spoke with Giant George's owners, Christy and Dave Nasser, who wrote the book, Giant George Life with the World's Biggest Dog. Well, Dave and Christy and George, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I have to tell you, when your picture popped up on the monitor, everybody in the studio gasped. I have to know, is George, is George, is he seated on that sofa with you? He's seated just like a human being. All right, yeah. all right from, from nose to tail, how long? He's about seven feet long, nose to tail. Obviously, Great Danes are, are known for being the, the largest dog or one of the largest dogs. When did you realize that he exceeded the typical Great Dane? Uh, I think uh, probably around three or four months when we would take him to the dog park. And um, everybody that knew Great Danes, that knew large breed dogs, they said, wow, his paws are huge. They would never really seen paws that large. And he had these huge... Um, kind of knots on his wrist area that were kind of bone ready to grow so we started hearing it from other people I have to tell you, looking, I'm, I'm still stunned watching the three of you there because this looks like you know, <laughs> some kind of computer graphic that he's, you know, he's superimposed on, on the top of you. Tell me, I, I have, I love Great Danes and I've always found them to be very gentle is, is, he, is he a gentle giant? Yeah, he's super gentle. I mean, we have two small kids, and he's very careful around them and, you know, just loves loves to be around kids, actually. And I'm thinking of the, ty I'm thinking of the typical pet paraphernalia. Very often you'll get the little cute little, little doggy bed. That's not going to work. Where does he sleep? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has his own queen-size bed, and it sits right at the foot of our bed. A uh, queen-size bed? Um, yeah, yeah. Early on, he had a twin-size bed, but uh, he outgrew that pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, his legs were sprawling all over the twin-size bed, and we had to we had to bring it up to a queen-size bed. Now, I, now I'm, I, I hesitate to ask this question: Is he active? Does, does he like to run around? Oh yeah. Well, you know, you you guys wouldn't know this over there, but it's pretty early in the morning over here, so he might be a little more lethargic than normal. But he's actually very active. He runs and he almost gallops oh like a pony. God. It's pretty incredible ah. for a dog this big to see him running the way that he does. Yeah, he is actually very active. Nothing like a pony running through the living room. Has he knocked a lot of stuff off? Have you have you, have you lost a lot of items to the wagging tail? He's pretty careful, actually. Pretty good, but he did dent our drywall corner one time, and actually the dent is still there because they didn't fix it properly, so you can see where his tail did a little damage. But other than that, he's pretty darn, pretty darn good. And, and just, just, give, just give us a sense of his size. I mean, compare him to, to what? The sofa you're on is what, a, a six-foot sofa? Uh, no, this is actually bigger than that. This is, like, probably seven or eight feet long. This is actually a pretty tall sofa. Uh, um, he's a he's a big guy. I mean, he's the thing is about him is he's like the Shaquille O'Neal of a dog because he's <laughs> all his weight is stretched out lengthwise. Um, and so if you just saw saw a still shot of him, he just looks like a Weimaraner or something. He looks perfectly proportioned. Only when you really kind of see him next to something visually do you realize how big he is. Or if you see him in person, he, he he's just so huge. Yeah, I wonder how his so. free throws are. Dave and Christy Nasser <laughs> and Giant George, thanks so much for coming out. What a real treat. We enjoyed having you guys here. Was that Shaquille O'Neal on the line there for me? I could get back to him and say, um, Could you handle a dog that you?